Let's talk about faith in God. But more practical, our faith in God this week. The way that we're going to practice that faith. In Hebrews 11, 1 through 3, it says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. By faith we understand that the world was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was made out of things which do not appear. Now, when you have faith, it is the assurance of the things that you hope for in your life. You know that you know that you know, because you're connected with God, that these things are possible. You have a conviction inside of yourself, even though it's not seen yet with your physical eyes. You understand that the Word creates and that the Word of God, uh, spoken originally and spoken in you, a positive affirmation of faith in the power of God working in your life, that things can come that are unseen now from the fourth dimension through you into the third dimension. If only you had faith, enough faith, it says. Well, you could be healed, successful, and happy. You've heard statements like that. But I ask you to regain a right perspective on faith. Let's define faith. Well, faith is believing in God, not in a condition, not in a circumstance. Faith is a very real and powerful faculty that is within each of us. It's like plugging a lamp into a power source. You plug yourself into a power source when you place your belief in God. God is there all the time in your life as all power, all knowledge, and at all times present no matter where you find yourself. You're not concerned about having enough faith. Rather, you are determined to place your complete faith in God. Faith is no longer a matter of striving to accumulate enough to produce the desired results. It is a matter of plugging in and placing our complete trust in God to be able to do in and through us the miraculous things that need to be done. This week, I pray that you have faith in God. This week, I pray that that faith produces a power in you, a knowing in you, and a belief in you that never leaves, where you know that you know that with God's power, this is going to work out and work out better than you even pray for. God bless you.